What's up guys, it's Golden Age 7, and well, <coughs> <coughs> we're going to play some Mario Kart 64. And I see, and you might notice I'm not in my usual red hoodie, because I'm wearing my old ACDC Stiff Upper Lip Tour t-shirt. Cool, right? <coughs> <coughs> I had this since I was like in 6th or 7th grade, and it still fits me pretty good. Yeah, it's not, not the only shirt I have from when I was a kid. I, I even have a few, I even have some shirts from... That I had back when I was in fourth or fifth grade that still fit that still fit me. And of course, you might know this is my PlayStation hat I got from GameStop. <coughs> and the other day I bought a new copy of Left 4 Dead 2 on from GameStop since my other one's broke. Oops, that wasn't what happened. I'm drinking some good old Dr. Pepper. <coughs> Oh, and my younger brother freaking Magic Hacks Games, that's Hacks with an H, no spaces, all lowercase. I mean, that's Hacks with an X, sorry, Magic Hacks Games. <laughs> He's been, uh, my younger brother's been down the dumps lately. He's been uh, down in the dumps. He's seen down the dumps lately, so. <laughs> <laughs> so when his 20th birthday, when April 6th of this year, which is his 20th birthday, I'd recommend that people go on his freaking YouTube channel and uh, comment happy birthday, comment happy birthday on his, on his, on his uh, videos. Go to his videos and comment happy birthday in the comment section. I'll do the same. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend on April 6th, you go, go to his page and go to his YouTube channels. Click on his videos and type happy birthday in the comment section. <laughs> Hopefully that'll make him feel better. <clears throat> I want his 20th birthday to be special. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's get to the game. And yes, I took a shower. And I attempted to record the Star Cup, but the camera shut itself off for some reason, so we're going to try again. Ah, much better. Ah, I thought it was good. <coughs> oh, and I almost forgot to tell everybody. I have a TikTok account now. You can follow Gold97 on TikTok. <coughs> you might have seen the old look of pork chop. <coughs> the old look of pork chop video. Well, that's one of my TikTok videos I uploaded. And if anybody's gonna freaking download my videos and uh, put them on a hard drive, I highly recommend you put them on physical media like CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. <coughs> or, or if you really, or if you really want to get, or if you really. Or if you really want to go crazy, or if you really want to preserve my videos, or if you want to preserve my videos in a hardcore way, I highly recommend you put them on a VHS tape. I highly recommend uh, high-grade VHS tapes. <laughs> I highly recommend VHS tapes that's more than four hours. <laughs> I highly recommend to have VHS tapes that's <laughs> that's uh, <clears throat> freaking more than two hours. That's more than four hours of footage. And I and the brands I recommend are this Maxell. <laughs> And <clears throat> Memorex and Sony. Or if you really want to go hardcore, buy some uh, blank blockbuster VHS tapes. Yes, they actually have those, and you can buy them on the internet. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but as for me, but as for me, since uh, no one, since not a lot of people use VHS tapes anymore, obviously. <clears throat> <clears throat> if I buy any blank VHS tapes, I take whatever. I if I find any blank VHS tapes and I'm able to buy them. I take them. I take the opportunity to buy them. So I recommend y'all do the same. Well, if you can buy those recommended brands I recommended, but if you buy, if you can buy those brands I recommended, then do it. And and if you can freaking uh get my video converted to a V eight to a VHS tape by freaking any means, like I don't know how I don't, I don't care how you do it, just do it and go for it. I don't care how you're, you're able to do it. Just do it. <clears throat> and if you can, 
get it if you can and if you can put my video on a Betamax if you want if you can <laughs> just whatever you can to put on just whatever just whatever you can do to put on physical media just whatever you can <laughs> Do whatever you can freaking do to put my video on a video CD, DVD, Blu-ray, or VHS, or Betamax. <coughs> you know, <coughs> that's something I that's something I do with when I find videos I like. That's something I do when I want to archive videos. <coughs> and it's it's very useful. It's a very useful thing to do in case your um in case your computer catches a virus or the hard drive goes haywire or something or anything freaking happens to make your freaking hard drive worthless. That where you anything you can anything happens where you have where you where you have to freaking uh where you have to freaking where you have to lose some of your stuff in your hard drive. <laughs> so in case any of that stuff happens, <laughs> at least you'll have a freaking physical copy. At least you'll have a physical copy backed up. At least you'll have it backed up in a physical copy. Am I right? All right, let's get on with the game. I'm serious too. <laughs> I'm freaking serious too. If you freaking download my video, if you ever download any of my videos, just please put them on any physical media you can. <coughs> Even if it includes a USB drive or anything like that, but the freaking but the physical media I recommend <coughs> you freaking I recommend you try to put it on a freaking uh on a video CD, DVD or Blu-ray or even a VHS tape or a Betamax tape. And kids, if you don't know what a freaking VHS or Betamax is, <laughs> they're basically a videotapes. <laughs> they're freaking videotapes that freaking came out in the 1970s. Well, well, Betamax came out in 1976 to be exact. <laughs> Actually, a freaking Betamax I think came out in 1975. <laughs> yeah, Betamax first came out in 1975 by Sony, and the VHS first came out in 1976 by JVC. I'm not gonna go in full detail on what they were and and their complete history. If you want if you want to learn more about VHS and beta, I recommend you look up you check out other video. You check out some videos that talk about this stuff. You might learn a lot. But in short, VHS and beta was basically was basically something that people watched movies on. Long story short, yeah, freaking VHS and Beta was basically something people watched movies on back in the back in the eighties and nineties, back in the seventies, eighties, and nineties. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Freaking VHS. There was a big format war between VHS and Beta. Spoiler alert! Freaking VHS won <laughs> and dominated the market until DVD came out in nineteen ninety six and eventually, <laughs> and eventually threw it off its mantle in like the early two thousands. <laughs> of course, that's just the freaking abridged version of... That's just my abridged version. <clears throat> if you want to check out the full story, there's plenty of videos that explain the full story of the format war between VHS and Beta. Of course, there was also Laserdisc that came out in 1978. <clears throat> but that's... But that's a whole different can of worms. But that's a whole different... That's a whole different thing. <clears throat> Sorry, can of worms was not the right term. That was a whole different story. Of course. <coughs> <coughs> well, let me give you the bridge version. Yeah, Laserdisc was basically uh, the DVD before DVD. Laserdisc was basically the DVD and Blu-ray before DVD and Blu-ray. <coughs> <coughs> Except it was the freaking size of a freaking vinyl record. And of course, it was expensive. And only half the movie could be played on one side. You had to flip it over to play the other side. And no one had time for that, so... It failed, but however, but surprisingly, it got minor success in freaking Japan only. But it was very successful in Japan, but Japan only. But yeah. <coughs> in short, VHS had freaking heavy competition, but VHS whooped their asses. In short, VHS whooped their asses. And, and of course, with VHS and Betamax, people had, you know, yeah, people, when people want to record something they like, <coughs> they had a freaking, uh, they had a pop of tape, they had a pop of beta or VHS and a VCR, <coughs> and freaking hit record. <coughs> and of course, there was a, there was a, there was a freaking, and there was something called a camcorder. <coughs> 
there was a camcorder with uh, Betamax having the beta movie and VHS having just the camcorder. <coughs> people could also fucking record. People could also also freaking record their own content. People could also record their own content on VHS and or beta for their friends to watch. In short, in short, it was basically like the it was basically like the YouTube and Instagram before internet. It was basically the YouTube, basically um, <coughs> cam recording cam camcorders that use VHS and beta. If you think about it, it was basically the YouTube before YouTube. It was basically like YouTube before YouTube. Yeah. It's basically like uh, social media before social media was a thing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> even, <coughs> even though fucking uh, camcorders were often... <coughs> <coughs> Even though the fucking most popular use for freaking camcorders <coughs> were mainly were mainly to freaking record family gatherings, like some like parent <coughs> like freaking parents often recorded their kids playing or or something like that, or <coughs> sometimes freaking recorded their wedding, or sometimes couple record their wedding on VHS and beta. <coughs> you know, <coughs> kind of like how people today freaking uh, live stream people's weddings on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Except VHS and Beta obviously couldn't be broadcast, didn't broadcast the entire internet because there was no internet back at the time. <laughs> because the internet was still new back in the 90s. And social media wasn't widely a thing back in the 90s, so... <laughs> they had freaking VHS tapes. Or, if you wanna... Or, if you were in the 90s and early 2000s, <laughs> they, had, <clears throat> they had a little smaller version of VHS called the VHS-C. Which is basically the, a smaller, a mini version of VHS <coughs> that was very freaking popular for camcorders. That was very popularly used by for camcorders, <coughs> <coughs> which also led to be freaking having like. Of course, there was also a freaking a VHS C adapter. <coughs> 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 It was basically a freaking adapter that was the size of a regular VHS tape <coughs> that played VHS C tapes, so you could play your camcorder tapes on a VCR. Yeah, VHS had a lot of awesome, had a lot of tech and content. <coughs> like, there was even a freaking rabbit. There was even a thing called a rabbit. There was even a thing called a rabbit VCR multiplier by a company called, of course, Rabbit. <coughs> It was very fucking popular for um, people like like people who could have hooked up a VC. <laughs> it was basically for people who freaking couldn't afford a VCR in <coughs> in every room. So the rabbit VCR multiplayer, you know, hooked up to one VCR and could uh, play the same could play could play a v, could play content from a VCR on different TVs. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, how awesome is that? And also, I'm uh, freaking for my younger viewers. If you don't know what, I, what I'm talking about, you should look up all the stuff about VHS and VCR stuff, or maybe talk to your parents and grandparents, <coughs> or maybe talk to your parents or grandparents about v VA, or maybe ask your parents or grandparents about beta or VHS. They might tell you about it. Or maybe even read a book about it. I'm sure there might be books about it somewhere. But if you can't find it, just watch videos about beta and VHS on YouTube. You might learn some stuff that not even your parents and grandparents can tell you. Emphasis on the might. <laughs> of course, that's an emphasis on the might. <clears throat> Good, it's still recording. <clears throat> And of course, if you fucking, and of course, if you haven't seen, if you haven't freaking used a v, VHS tape, <coughs> I recommend all my viewers, no matter, no matter what age you are, no matter what generation or age you are, <coughs> I freaking recommend you guys would, I recommend you guys use a VHS tape at least once in your life. I recommend you get the experience of recording, of recording stuff on a VHS tape at least I recommend you get the experience of recording something on a VHS tape at least once in your life. Because you'll love, trust me, 
you will love the experience of using something that people that your ancestors used. You'll 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 love. <coughs> Trust me, you will love the experience of recording the way the way your ancestors, well, more likely your parents and grandparents or great grandparents if you're young enough, <coughs> have used. Yeah, trust me, you'll love, you'll love having the first, <coughs> you'll love, you'll love having the frick, you'll love having the first hand experience <coughs> of recording stuff on a VHS tape. <coughs> whether you freaking, whether you pop a VHS tape in a VCR on your, whether you record something off your TV through a VCR, <coughs> or, <coughs> or you somehow freaking manage to find a VHS camcorder and use that, you'll love the experience, you and your friends will love the experience <coughs> of using such primitive technology. Yes, I know that I know it's a fossil. I know VHS is, and all its and all its <coughs> and all its tech is a, is a fossil, but trust me, you'll love first having first hand experience using that fossil. And you'll even learn and you'll even learn how, how people came a long way with making their own videos, you know? Trust me on that one. You'll love it. Trust me. You will love it. <coughs> and plus, uh, freaking, and plus, nobody can freak, and plus, nobody can track you down or spy on, or spy on you if you're using a VHS tape, am I right? <coughs> plus, you have a lot of extra privacy with VHS. <coughs> so you can literally swear like a sailor. So you can literally swear like a sailor. You could literally swear like a sailor and say whatever you want, and you won't have to worry about getting demonetized or flagged because it's a VHS tape. Only, the only people, the only people who could watch it is whoever you let watch it. <laughs> of course, you have to take extra care of the VHS tapes because VHS tapes can deteriorate and and fade away. <coughs> but hey, <coughs> maybe you'll freaking take that opportunity to freaking learn how to convert tape to deep disc. Maybe you'll learn, you'll, maybe you'll take the opportunity to learn how, <coughs> maybe you'll take that freaking opportunity to learn how to freaking convert VHS and beta to DVD and Blu-ray, huh? That sounds like, you'll, you'll have a lot, you'll build a lot of good skills. <coughs> you'll be able to, to impress your friends with how, with all your good tech skills. Trust me, it'll feel good. <coughs> Trust me, take, take my word for it, because... I have actually used VHS. I've actually recorded, me and my real life friend, Fearless Badass, actually recorded, we actually recorded video games we played on VHS tapes, and we loved it. <coughs> we both freaking loved the experience so much that my buddy, that me and my friend Fearless for a while had a tradition where we watched our VHS tapes every New Year's, <coughs> which has unfortunately ended, which that tradition unfortunately ended because of COVID. <coughs> But my but my friend Fearless Badass still has the VHS tapes to this day, and he plans on freaking converting the tapes to DVD and Blu-ray. So I recommend you got you and your friends do the same with you record stuff on VHS and beta, and maybe maybe learn how to convert them to, to DVD and maybe learn how to convert VHS and DVD to Blu-ray and DVD I mean, VHS and beta to Blu-ray and DVD. You'll love the experience of using all that old tech. <laughs> For numbers of reasons. You'll love that experience. I recommend you do all that stuff at least once in your life. I highly recommend you do that at least once in your life. <coughs> It'll be an experience you and your friends will never forget. And who knows, maybe your parents or grandparents might be impressed. Maybe you and your parents, maybe maybe your parents are, and maybe you might impress your parents or grandparents on being able to use such, on even knowing what such tech is, let alone using it. And you might probably even impress your might 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 even impress the kids at the A, at the AV club or wherever you hang out at. <laughs> of course, it's my recommendation. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do. I'm saying I highly recommend you do that at least once in your life. <laughs> 
If you're freaking don't want to do it, that's fine, but I highly recommend you do. But if you don't want to, that's fine. That's perfectly fine, but... <laughs> I'm just saying, you may love, you might, you, mo you most likely would love the experience. <laughs> I know I did, and so did some, so did my friend Fearless. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I was able to freaking record Minecraft on Xbox 360 <clears throat> on a VHS tape. <clears throat> my buddy Fearless and, and my other buddy, <clears throat> <clears throat> Illusional Devil, formerly known as Lonely Devil, <clears throat> was very, their minds were blown. Their minds were completely blown. <laughs> so imagine what you guys can do. Who knows, maybe you might use a freaking composite HDMI adapter <coughs> to freaking record Call of Duty Cold War on, I'm, you might use, who knows, <coughs> you might be able to use a, <coughs> you might be able to freaking use a composite HDMI adapter to hook up a PS4 or a PS5 or Xbox One <coughs> to a VCR. And record Call of Duty Blow Cold War or even or even Fortnite on a VHS tape. How impressive would that be? How cool the how 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 much how cool would that be? How cool would that be, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. You might think it's crazy now. <laughs> I know, you might think it's freaking ridiculous now, but, <clears throat> but once you get the experience, but once you get the experience of doing it, you will never look back. You'll never, you'll never look at it the same way again. <clears throat> you will be very impressed with yourself. <clears throat> you and your friends will, will freaking feel like they did something awesome. <clears throat> feel like, you, you'll feel like you did the impossible. You guys will practically feel like hackers at that point. It's just a metaphor. Don't don't come after me on that one. It's just a metaphor. <laughs> yeah, don't actually try to hack into people. Don't actually don't actually try to be a hacker or hack into things. It's bad and illegal. It was what I was what I said was just a metaphor. I think I made that as clear as I could possibly make. I made that as clear as I could possibly do. So yeah. <coughs> I wish I had a girlfriend. Oh, <coughs> 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 uh, but 
better. Man, this Dr. Pepper really is good. I think I, uh, alright, I'm gonna get the gold, man. I love the pieces. <laughs> So yeah. <coughs> you know, maybe next time I go to GameStop, I might probably either get a Mario hat or another PlayStation hat. Because <coughs> I saw there was a PlayStation hat that had <coughs> that had the uh, X square triangle circle. I'm wondering, should I get a Mario hat from? Uh, Next time I go to GameStop, should I get a Mario hat or an, or that PlayStation hat with the uh, controller button things? I think I'll see what I'll I'll see maybe when I go there next time I'll decide. <laughs> All right. I did it. I got the gold. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>